Yo guys, what's up? Your boy KGC Epic here. So I was just playing some Pokemon Showdown and decided to record and I uh, bounced up what I believe to be a hacker. Now this dude was using the Serene Grace Flinch combo. You give a Pokemon a move with Flinch and the effect doubles with Serene Grace. Pretty basic, right? Now the first person I uh, bounced up, I believe his name was Wizard Warrior 257 this dude has a shaman on his team and he decided to rage quit now i find this to be particularly interesting that if he has a shaman which most likely has screen grace and he chose to rage quit no big like not even having enough faith in that serene grace this dude here complete opposite effect now i'm not even going to give you guys spoilers during the video now let's look at this shit I started with Arceus. Now I don't believe he started the hacks on Shaman obviously, but I do believe that he did the hacks on Jirachi. Now I'll, give, I'll tell you why in a reason, in, you know, in a minute. Now he got the first flinch, no big deal. I went Tailwind to double my speed, but uh, his Shaman and his Jirachi are choice cast. This is when I realized that his Shaman is choice cast, and most likely his Jirachi is choice cast, right? So I went Mewtwo. And uh, Mewtwo is obviously to outspeed that Shaman because there is still residual Tailwind. And obviously I went for the Fire Blast. Now what I find to be weird is that you saw me use Fire Blast on your Shaman. Why would you throw out a Jirachi? You throw, if you were Cloyster, I went for the Energy Ball. Uh, now that would have swept Cloyster but he ha hung on using a Focus Sash obviously. And uh, finished it off. Now, I found that to be weird. Why didn't you throw out like Groudon or Arceus? Why did you throw out Jirachi when you saw my Mewtwo clearly had Fire Blast? And he paused. This is what I find to be weird. Why did you pause? If your Jirachi is choice card, then obviously your plan is to use Iron Head anyways. Why would you need to pause? Unless you're activating a hack, right? Now, flawless Iron Head. Flawless. Not once did it hit and not flinch. Now I'm thinking that, okay fine. I gotta paralyze this Jirachi in case if it switch, switches out because if it's choice scuffed, it has a lot more speed, it's going to be annoying. And flinch after flinch after flinch. I, I tried to paralyze him three times when I saw it was futile I went for precipice blades and obviously what happened I flinched now this is in the bottom right corner this is where I decided to call him a hacker because that's just total bullshit I decided to go dark void because I'm thinking fine if I can hit the dark void I can put this thing to sleep Use Nasty Plot, finish off with a Dark Pulse and we can get this Nightmare over with with this Jirachi with a 100% Flinch chance on his Iron Head. Flinched. I told him in the bottom there, what's the point in playing a game if you're going to hack? People, how is this fun? If you know you're going to win because you're cheating, how is it fun? I've hacked games before and it's never fun. I went Giratina and this is when this dude is trying to convince me that this is just Serene Grace, this is not hacks. So I said fine, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt even though I know it's total bullshit. I decided to go for the earthquake and he hit the iron hand and what happened? Flinched. Now keep in mind this is the ninth flinch for the game right? I decided that I'm going to go Shadow Sneak for the priority plus one just to at least do damage to this Jirachi. Now I realized that if I went a second Shadow Sneak it wouldn't have killed it so I went Earthquake and ended up dying still. I threw out Zonias because obviously I have no other choice. Uh, went Geomancy wondering if hopefully um, I can outspeed this Jirachi on the next turn and kill it with Thunderbolt or something. Hit the iron head, obviously super effective, and that's a tenth flinch. And he's trying to convince me that this is just 60% and all of it is just luck. 
You hit 8 flinches on Jirachi. You swept my entire team with, 60, with a 60% chance of a flinch. I call bullshit. I've never seen this been done in Pokemon Showdown. So I asked for the opinions of other people that if you guys have seen this been done or have personally done this without the use of hacks. Um, so be sure to leave your opinions in the comment section and I'll be sure to uh, answer it as quickly as possible. Be sure to like, share and subscribe and as usual guys, stay awesome.